It's an approved plan to reduce crime in Westport, but some say it could lead to discrimination. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez dug deeper into this debate. Andres. Mike, starting this spring, those visiting the heart of Westport late Friday or Saturday night will have to go through a metal detector. This new law passed today after a lively debate at City Hall. This is not the solution that fixes the problem we're trying to address. For a final time this afternoon, the city council argued whether turning portions of Westport private will actually reduce violence. Westport is a neighborhood, not a nightclub. For months, Westport businesses negotiated with the city to take over the sidewalks in the heart of the entertainment district. Where does this actually stop? So maybe do we have people come to us tomorrow and say there's some crime on Prospect Avenue. The way we can fix that is actually to create one lengthy CID, private the whole darn street. Those against it worry the measure could lead to discrimination and other legal problems. Supporters say this is a bold but simple move. Let that issue arise because we can fight that in court. But what you cannot undo is when an innocent bystander is shot in a crowded space because we did not act. The ordinance is passed. Ultimately, the council voted eight to five in favor, <laughs> allowing Westport to set up metal detectors to screen for weapons on Friday and Saturday nights within this corridor. If we can have anything that's going to protect, you know, our, our neighborhood by having more police being out there in the, uh, surrounding the, the core, then that's going to be a, a, a plus for us. Councilwoman Catherine Shields sponsored the measure. She says the city could reclaim the site walks if they ever thought the privatization wasn't working. So I, I think we have a lot of good safeguards in place. This was my problem. If you're somebody who has significant complaints, you have to go through a lot of steps to complain to the city to make sure everybody knows about it. My concern is people aren't going to do that. And now business owners here anticipate the new screening procedures will go into effect in April. Reporting live in Westport tonight, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.